Hey everyone, we're going to do today shielding the inside of your guitar to prevent the hum radio interference that happens when you're using single coil pickups. Um, you're never going to cut it out completely unless you get noiseless pickups, which are basically humbuckers. Um, in some cases, people have vintage style pickups where the middle one's not wound in reverse. So that means in every position, one, two, three, four, and five it hums but you can cut that down dramatically I have a 1996 made in Mexico Stratocaster pretty sure it's Lake Placid blue looks like a little metallic paint in there but correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know the color I'm just guessing I gotta go on a side note real quick because I haven't seen the inside of this in a few years I don't know what the heck all this is it looks like metal shavings it's really sharp um, if somebody can shed some light on that, it might be the wood shavings. and Nobody cleaned it out and they just sprayed over it. I'm just not sure, but I would like to know that. I don't know everything, so I would like to know that. Um, if you're seeing extra holes, it's because I drilled it from the various pick guards. Um, let's see here. What else am I going to cover? All right. I'm not going to do the input jack because every time I do, if that cable hits when you're plugged in or anything, it's going to ground out. It's going to shut down your whole pickup, and you don't want that to happen in the middle of a show or anything and I don't want my guitar acting like a like a bypass switch and I don't know when it's gonna go off so I sacrificed a little bit there you could route it out bigger so that doesn't happen but I don't want to do that um, however if you're gonna shield the inside of this too I recommend you run a jumper cable and solder it together so you got continuity all around here if you don't have continuity when you're done this job it's it's useless you just got a bunch of tape in here I'm gonna use this copper tape works great I think it's by tapes master I think it's called but I'll put a link um, in the description actually to everything I'm using multimeter um, etc but yeah instead of putting you through the torture of the job I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna pause the video and then we'll come back and I'll talk about how you ground it you know and hopefully that'll work yeah oh you could use aluminum tape too but you'll have to solder all the seams together with this stuff, you don't have to. You could just overlap the tape. You don't have to worry about it. It's great. Plus, it's really easy to solder your ground wire onto, or any wire onto. Um, but yeah, I'm going to push pause, do the job, and come back. All right, and we're back. I'm sure a few of you are going, wow. Or that's a waste of tape. But it's my guitar, and I like using a lot of tape. So there you have it. All connected. Now here's that thing I was talking about earlier. Just ground the wire to the shielding to the common ground pot. I got a short wire here, sorry. This is all in the way. But I ground all my grounds to like a common ground there. It's a little excessive, but that's just the way I do it. Because um, I didn't know that before. And it was uh, pretty much useless because it wasn't grounded. People worry about ground loops, etc. I never had a problem with it personally, but um, but yeah, you should definitely ground it. But we're gonna check for continuity, just to make sure everything's right. And I got a multimeter here, and for me, my I mine has a little like speaker there, so I know where it's at. Um, I don't know much about these things, but I know how to do this. So if you hear a beep, that means we're good. I hear a beat. It's another beat. Good stuff. Now I'll try it on the pick guard itself. Awesome. Yeah, man. So that means when when this shielding on the pick guard hits this shielding, it's going to really cut down that hum. Like big time, man. So yeah, try it out to your strat. You don't have to do it really with humbuckers. If you're getting hum from humbuckers, like ground hum, there's probably a ground issue. Because they're silent. Um, but yeah, this works great on single coil guitars. I'm going to, uh, while I'm going overboard, might as well keep going overboard, right? I just put a little piece of tape over the over that ground wire there. 
Yep. But yeah, I hope this helps you, man. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if I missed anything, just let me know.